Hey, how you doing? So today we're gonna make this. And this. And both are really easy. This art activity is based on op art, which was a form of art from the 1960s, where abstract artists would use repetition of line and pattern to make really incredible pictures that tricked our eyes. That's where the word op art comes from. It means optical art or optical illusion. Now, often these pictures would look like they were moving or warping, or that something like a geometric shape was jumping off of the surface. And so understandably, these can be quite tricky for young artists to make because it involves lots of lines coming together and that's where this art activity is great because it's a much more simplified version that is just as effective but really achievable and it proves that sometimes the simplest tricks can be the most effective. These are just some mirrors taped together. Okay let's start with the easiest one. Grab some A4 paper and cut it into a 21 by 21 centimeter square and of course these can be pre-cut if you want. Now we want to divide 21 by 3 to give us 7 centimetre markings along two of the sides. Now just choose the opposite corner and draw lines from there to the markings. This is a great chance to develop some measuring and ruler skills as well as getting some cross curricular art and maths. Now draw a shape on top, I'm going to use a triangle but you can use any shape you like or even more than one if you want. Now shade in a bit of your shape. I like pencil, but you can use pens, crayons, colour pencils, whatever you have available. Now in each part of the picture, shade the opposite parts to the one above, either inside the shape or outside of it, and keep doing this all the way down. Now to increase the challenge just a little bit, divide 21 by 7 instead so that you have 3 cm long markings. Then just repeat the same process. And if you really want to get them thinking, then just change the size of the paper and get them to work out how to divide it accordingly. The fact that you're still here probably means that this was the right kind of video for you. So go check out the other videos on the channel. I'm sure you'll find loads of value there. Um, and when you do, make sure you subscribe and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. A thumbs up really helps the channel grow and I will see you in the next one.